Stephanie, can we please talk about uh, the condition number two and, you know, part of the issuance of the CDUP was that there would be more of a enhanced cultural experience and more of a um, host culture experience on Mauna Kea in collaboration with Imi Loa and Kahuku Mauna. Um, how is that progressing? Um, what, what plans do we have to yes. expand beyond the visitor center? So that people that come to, I guess, the Hale Pohaku site can have more of a, an interactive experience like they can experience at the Imiloa in Hilo. Aloha kako. Um, ya oe, eke kene koa ho omalu o keia komike, a mena kene koa ea e mahalo keia um, wa eke kike ho ka analiki ai i ka ike pili me kanu ho. Mahalo um, for this time to share with you and update you on where we are in these conditions. I am Kaiu Kimura, the director of the Imi Loa Astronomy Center of Hawaii. Uh, specifically related to special condition number two, Imi Loa has begun the process of partnering with the Visitor Information Station, which is located at the 9,000 foot elevation, um, to upgrade the within the existing square footage the exhibit interpretive stories shared at the Viz. So we are getting ready to release an RFP to onboard some um, exhibit consultant services so that we can move that forward. And the intent specifically is uh, to tell the stories of Mauna Kea beyond what's, you know, the astronomy stories coming from the observatories, but to really give an in-depth cultural and environmental um, experience for all that visit the Viz. Do we have, um, I know the Haleapuaku site is a little less than 20 acres. Is there any additional area for us to expand uh, a Imiloa type cultural center, educational center at the Haleapuaku site? Or is it tight as it is? It's pretty tight. Um, uh, I really couldn't say whether or not, I mean, I'm sure you could always design something that could fit in a certain size parcel but there is no really room to expand the footprint wider. You may go up, but it's be, it would be hard to really go um, to cover more surface, ground surface. Um, that would have to be really looked at um, from an environmental perspective. It would also have to be um, reviewed very carefully by the Department of Land and Natural Resources, which is very concerned about um, increased traffic to the mountain, visitor vis visitors to the mountain, and the impacts to the resources. And so there are a lot of issues and factors that have to be taken into consideration before we move forward um, in terms of designing an, uh, an enhanced and enlarged viz. What's the foot, uh, what's the traffic, I guess, on a, uh, on a given night at the Hale Pohaku site as far as vehicular traffic or pedestrian um, traffic? How much people average a night up there? Well, um, Right now, it's it's about a hundred about 150 cars that go to the visitor information station alone, and then about another 50 cars that go up to the summit. So you're looking at about 200 cars, and this is particularly during the uh, evening when you have the sunset and the stargazing activities at the visitor information station. Um, as you know, it's the the area is very limited and there's very limited parking, so we we'd also have to consider how would you accommodate all the additional vehicles yeah. to that area. considered a cultural center at a lower elevation, maybe in partnership with DHHL? Correct. We, we had had discussions with DHHL a few years ago, uh, and they had, um, they had put forward some thoughts of a possible visitor center at the Saddle Road and the uh, Monica Access Road junction. Um, being that there's a lot of traffic, uh, that passes there, they would get a lot of visitors, and it would release a lot of the pressure at the Viz in terms of uh, uh, vehicular and people traffic. And we had, when we talked to Joby at that time, um, uh, because she wanted to do a, a visitor center, and he said, you know, this would be a really good partnership with the university. We've got Emi Loa, who could be a real good partner for you to provide the cultural uh, and other uh, aspects and blending that in with astronomy and the, the natural environment. I think that would be a good place to catch a lot of the visitor traffic because the saddle road has been so improved over the years. Um, 